All right, welcome back to the ranch. So Lewis and Tristan and Audrey have got three horses to uh, freeze brand. So I thought y'all would like to see freeze branding. So normally, um, used to when I had reset mares, I'd freeze brand hundreds or thousands of these things every year. So we're gonna do a little deal on freeze brand. Hopefully we have enough liquid nitrogen, so we're gonna try to go really fast because we're like really limited on liquid nitrogen today. So um, yeah, so first things first, we're gonna get the horse in, sedate them a little bit because these are show horses, so we don't want them jumping around and messing our brand up. And then we'll clip them with the clippers and then we use 99% alcohol to, uh, to wet them down. We'll wet them down, wipe it down and wet it again. And uh, in the 99% nitri uh, alcohol actually carries the cold in and then we'll brand them. So what we're gonna do, all these horses are sorrel, sorrel and one bay. So what we'll do is like we'll feel, feel the thickness of the skin, but it looks like most of like the bay would be like 11 seconds. The sorrel, the set sorrel there at the blaze face, both, probably both those sorrels there will be a little thinner skinned. They're gonna be probably 10 seconds hold. And then um, we'll talk about it again, but if you have like a gray horse or something like that, you can hold the freeze brand on there and leave it for like 20 seconds and then it'll make a real pretty fire brand. And so, um, but today we're just gonna get through these colts pretty fast, see if we can't get this liquid nitrogen to last. So, yeah, let's go. I guess let's get some get something going and let's get them rolling in. Um, and we'll uh, we can move it here in a little bit. Main thing is we don't want the horse to knock them over. Yeah, you're good. We got we got enough. That's what I was thinking. He acted like it was all gonna be gone. Yeah. No, that, that doesn't look bad. No, you be good. Exactly you yeah. Just over here somewhere for now. Let's get. If we get. Need to make sure we get one or two more dogs in here. All right, so we're gonna give him a little something to make him relax. So if he loses his shit, he's coming out right here, right? Just so you know. <laughs> hold him, hold him. So I know we've gone over this before about, about veining a horse, but so the way you do it, you always have the open end of the, of the needle here looking at you. So I'm like looking in the hole and then when you, especially on the colt, you hold your finger over, over like that and get the vein where it's up. And then you push the needle, like, like where the needle's bending, like that, up against the skin and it kind of confuses the nerves. And if you drag it back about an inch and then go back in, they won't, they won't bop their head up and down. So just a trick from doing a whole bunch of reset marriage that like to bite and kick. You learn how to kind of gently do it. <laughs> yes, sir. All right, where are we putting the brand on this one? Well, it's going to be on the left shoulder. This bar might kind of be in the way a little bit. Yeah. We, well, what we do is just push, let him get a little drunk. We'll push him over. Push him over. Yeah. Are, are we doing, where's, well, I thought, I thought this was Tristan's horse. It is. We're putting this one. You're putting your brand on Tristan's horse? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, hell. Pretty sweet deal, huh? That's pretty screwed sell up. The horse, then brand it. Yeah, sell the horse, then brand it. Well, if Tristan screws it up. Uh, no, I mean screws the horse up, and you're riding around a horse with your brand on it. It's got a, you know, it's a sorry, yeah, it's, it's, it's a sorry <laughs> ass horse. Yeah. What do you get? <laughs> All right, heads up. These clippers are a piece. They might not work.
So I kind of do a little rough deal and get started. And then, we, then, let's, then we'll square it up. Is that pretty close, Lewis? You want to look at it so that's where you want it? Yeah, no, that looks fine to me. So, so if you're doing very many of them, I, I get a bigger clipper than this because it's too slow. You think we need to go a, a little bit forward or not? Yeah, we can. Yeah, if you take another stroke in the front one, that might get it screwed up. Well, the reason I ask is because you want to do a decent job of clipping because you're going to have to be looking at this square yeah, for about six for months. While. Yeah, so you okay. want to make sure you're good there. I think that ought to be good on the left edge there. Okay. I mean. All right, so now we got to make sure we get the brand in there. Yeah. All right, so let's get your iron cooling. Let's uh, move this over here where, where we can see. Yeah. So, sometimes the smoke off these things make these horses scares the hell out of these horses. So you kind of got to be careful. And we don't want to waste all of our liquid nitrogen. All right, so set that down there. Make sure it's buried. Okay, so once it quits bubbling, then we're good. It's ready to go. Yeah, but it will not till we not till it quits bubbling. Yeah, you go. Yeah, that's if you can, if you can get him, but give me to step his leg back because I want a straight leg because I don't want it to be crooked. There you go. You're good. Right there. there that's all you got to do right there. All right, so it's still bubbling here, so let's let it quit, finish bubbling. Okay, so now this horse, this horse here is a little thicker skinned. You can kind of feel him. So, and that's usually the case with a bay horse. So, we'll, and he doesn't have much wide on him. He's got a little bit, but not much. So we're going to go 11 seconds. So one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000 to 11 seconds. So now that it's done bubbling, we're good. But, but a, lot, a lot of times if you're doing a bunch of these, take a blanket or something and throw it over it because you lose all your liquid nitrogen. All right, so here we go. So we're gonna wet it, get it good and wet with the 99% alcohol. All over. All right, so you get one shot at this. So you don't wanna screw it up. Okay. W up, like that? Yes, sir. All right, here we go. One, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 11. All right, that's it. Looks good. All right, so now, that's the last time you're gonna get to see that for about a week or two, and then it'll, and eventually it'll scab over. And then once it scabs over, a hot fall off, and in about th three months, it'll they'll come back white. Easy day. Do another one. All right, let's go yep. before we run out of nitrogen. So move that. Like that. Probably made for that. Yeah, probably is. I hadn't wore that thing in forever. Thank God. Where's your brand, Audrey? Uh, left shoulder. Oh, did you mean my actual brand? Yes. Lewis has to get us one. Another horse he sold without brand new first. Let me get her drunk for a minute. Okay. All right, same deal. I'll just hold him there for now. He'd be if he'll stay there. Just be careful, Audrey, if he jumps out. Uh, easy as that. All right, let's let him get drunk a minute here. Same spot.
So this horse here would be 10 seconds because he, you can just see how, how thinner skinned he is. I mean, he's like super, super thin skinned. So 10 seconds here. It's usually, usually it's gonna be 10 or 11. It doesn't have to be, you don't have to be exact. But then whenever you get in, the problem is if you go too long, that turns into a fire brand. So if it's a gray horse, we'll do a, do a 20 seconds. And you can probably do less than that. You probably do 16 and be fine, but I always just did 20. And it just does a really clean fire brand looking. It look, and it looks fine on the gray horse. Fun stuff. You're not putting a year brand on them? No, not on these. I might. I might someday. Give them a little ranchier look. Throw one of these dogs down brand new. Let him get good and drunk before we go running these clippers. You never know what kind of horse is going to lose their ever living mind on the clipper. See, we use these on the reset mares. We use the big clippers because we were because on the reset mare, what I do is I put my brand and then four numbers. So we were we had a big old square deal there. Uh -huh. We any drugs or men? No, no, yeah, we, yeah, on the reset marriage, we had some, I mean, we never used any drugs. We would just freaking just fight them. And so whenever a mare came in and, and her numbers were like blurred you from knew. her jumping, you knew she was wild. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, look out. Like that, Lewis. Looks pretty good. Yes, sir. Yeah, it used to drive me nuts when people would brand when I had people branding, and they would just do like this and go all over the place. And so you'd have this little zigzag all over your right. horse. And you gotta Even, deal with that. Yeah, then you gotta look at it crap for for like six months. Right, bring my branding iron around. Oh, and then you know one thing I didn't talk about is pressure. So whenever you push it on there. I don't like, I don't like push like super, super hard, but I mean, it's like, it's solid. So I'm like, I'm pushing it, the skin in about half an inch or three quarters of an inch. So I'm pushing pretty hard. Oh, you got, leave it in nitrogen, bring the nitrogen. No, sorry. No. No, you don't get the honors of getting pulled out of nitrogen. I mean, because it co it cools really fast. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. So if yeah, you, yeah so if it, if you if you pull it out too fast, then it throws off the timing. So the the 99 percent alcohol, the alcohol carries it into the skin. That's why you have to have 99. Okay. So if you got 70 percent, you just freeze in water. Uh, here we go. You like? No, I'm, I like I like her. Okay. I like her. If she if you think she's good there, just hold her still. Don't let her move. You go. Done. Usually they feel it about 10. All right, we're done with that one. Next one. The next one you might want to drug outside of here. Okay. So these brands, oh, after a little bit, they swell, they swell really, they swell up really fat. So see, it, it'll disappear. You can't see it on there now, and then here in a little bit, you'll be able to see it. My square is crooked on that one too, dadgummit. But here in a little bit, it'll, it'll swell up, big old fat thing. 
So you can't see that one anymore. And then this one's starting to swell and it swell some more. So you'll see it, it'll come out, it'll swell out here in just a little bit. And then that's the last chance you get to see it for a while. Could have done better with that square, huh? That's a better square there. Bluey. <laughs> them drugs kick in a little more huh okay. oh she get, she's pretty drunk there we go see if you can move around and get that leg straight I want yeah, just 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 step her back and back forward. There we go. That's better. I just I didn't want to. I was trying to get the square. I was trying to get my square straight. About as straight as I can get it. Put ten seconds on the her again too. She's she's real thin skinned. So if you're doing multiple brands, sometimes like when, we, like when Luke and I were doing recips, we'd do we'd do one brand and then we'd wet it down again. So it's important that it's it's important that you got it wet. That's what carries the cold in. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Another thing you can do is you can watch, you can watch the, the ice come back on here, like, like it'll fill in. And when it fills in, then you're pretty much done. So depending on the weather that day is a little different, but you can count it down. Is that it? Yes, sir. All right, I guess pour that back into okay. our tank in case somebody else has something to do. And now you get to see those irons. Those are the ones I was telling you about. Yeah, so these irons, uh, Lewis just bought these, but normally a freeze branded iron is brass. The brass holds the cold better. So, and we got we got lots of these that we buy, and they so you just order them. You can send your brand in and order it. And this is so this was our great my great granddad's W W Lewis. This was his brand, and so Lewis, who's named after W W Lewis, that's his brand is the Flying W. So. All right, I don't know what else to do. I guess we'll catch y'all next week at the Mendota Ranch, Freeze Branding 101.